What's up, Spikes? We're here with another episode of Blade Break. Blade Break. Uh, Bill and I, my name's Elliot, <laughs> are here today uh, to do something a little, a little cool, a little neat. I think. Kooky. Um, we had this idea. Bill likes his Lexi deck. I have a couple decks. Uh, we're gonna try to do kind of like a little gauntlet thing. Lexi versus five of my decks. Mm -hmm. uh, we think this is the first episode. Uh, that's why we're introducing it. And if it isn't, well, shoot. <laughs> you already know what's going <laughs> you on. Already then, know. So. <laughs> uh, so today uh, in the Lexi gauntlet, I am playing Dash, uh, the mechanologist hero with her Teclo plasma pistol, Viziotronic model I, Teclo foundry heart, Goliath Gauntlet and Achilles Accelerator. Pretty sure that's pronounced Achille. Achille Accelerator. <laughs> uh, as mentioned, uh, in the name of the Gauntlet, I am playing Lexi today. Uh, this is a Blitz version that was created by uh, Carol, one of the developers for the game. Uh, I'll have the link to at least the deck list, if not the like deck tech video too, uh, in the description of these videos, I assume. Uh, so this is yeah a lightning version. Uh, looks to go wide, hit pretty hard. So sometimes, um, hopefully more often than not, but we'll see. Uh, and today I have Voltaire as my bow, New Horizon on my head, uh, a coat of frost, bullseye bracers, and perch grapplers on my foots. 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 Nice. Yeah. Uh, I'm going first. Yes, you are. Uh, and my hero is Dash, so I would like to start with this induction chamber in play. It's super powerful. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's kick things off here. I am going to play a yellow high-speed impact uh, by pitching this blue high-speed impact. So I will have two resources floating, uh, and I will boost that with uh, banishing this card from the top of my library, and it will have go again. Hmm. That is pretty good. So it has go again, and if it hits your next thing, it's dominate. The next thing that I would boost gains that, dominate. That, that yeah. you would boost. Mm -hmm. I think I will block two of that. Okay. So I will take one. Please take one. And next thing you boost gains dominate. It does. Uh, however, I don't believe I'm going to be boosting because uh, I'm going to play this Spark of Genius. I currently have two resource floating, and I'm going to pitch this ye other yellow high speed impact. Uh, so X is equal to two. Yes, it is. Uh, and I will search my deck for a Mechanologist item card with cost two and put it into the arena. Off of this spark of genius for two, I'm going to find the second induction chamber. Uh, and then because I have boosted this turn, I'm gonna draw a card. Oh no. I know. Oh wow, I bet you I'm gonna arsenal that. <laughs> and that'll yeah. be the end of my turn. Uh, before the end of your turn, I have an effect. <gasps> no. I'm gonna activate Voltaire. Uh, to put this snapshot into my arsenal face up by pitching this blue weave lightning. Then I'm going to activate it a second time to put Frazzle into my arsenal face up. Uh, so I have no cards in hand and I will draw up to four. Me too. Nice. Squad. All right. I think this is going to be a pretty all in turn. Yikes. So let's see what happens here. I'm going to start by breaking this coat of frost. Uh, so I'm going to give you a frostbite. Okay. Then. Uh, I'm going to activate the ability of my Perch Grapplers, and I'm going to pitch this Light It Up to pay for that. So my face-up arrows are going to gain go again this turn. Yeah. Uh, I'll just put that back there. Then uh, I will attack you with this Snapshot for four. And I can fuse it, but the fuse ability doesn't do anything for me this turn, so I'm not going to. So it's for four. Okay. Uh, I will just... Defend three. Okay. So I'll take one. Sounds good. Uh, I'm going to then attack you with this blue frazzle, pitching this yellow frazzle. And I will have one resource floating. I will attack you for three, and I am going to fuse this one. Uh, so when it was fused, whenever an attack would deal damage this turn, instead it deals that much plus one. I technically missequenced this, but it's fine. We'll just go with it. Okay. I'll notice now. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will defend three. Okay. Uh, so you will take nothing. Uh, I'm going to crack my bullseye bracers oh, wow. uh, because I have no cards in my arsenal. I'm going to put an arrow from my hand face up into my arsenal and I will give it plus one attack this turn. It will be this headshot. 
uh, and I will use my one resource floating uh, to attack you for, it gets plus two, plus one from this, and four. Uh, so for a total of seven, and it still has go again. Yikes, that is spooky. I will just block with my foundry heart for two. Okay. Uh, so I will take five. You will take uh, five and then plus one. Aha, uh-huh. six. Fused, yes. And then I'm going to uh, cap it all off by attacking you with this lightning surge for four from my hand. Yikes. It does not have a go again. Uh, okay, I will take four, which becomes five, plus right? One. Yep. Yeah, so I'll go to eight. Okay. Yikes. <laughs> uh, that gets a battle worn counter. And I will draw some cards. Okay, well, this frostbite is sad. Uh, <laughs> so I will uh, go to put a steam counter on this induction chamber uh, that costs me an additional resource. So I'll pitch this blue throttle mm-hmm. to do that. Uh, and then with the one floating left over from that blue throttle, I will also put a counter on the second induction chamber. Uh, and then I'm just going to cast this Spark of Genius for zero. You got it. Uh, and off of my Spark of Genius for zero, I will get a Teclo Core, mm-hmm. uh, which will enter the arena with two steam counters. Okay. Uh, I did not boost this turn, so I will not draw a card. And that is the end of my turn. Sounds good to me. I'm going to kick this turn off with a fan favorite of mine. And probably yours. And I think you know where this is going already. Yikes. Yeah, I'm going to cast this three of a kind. <laughs> Pitching this yellow Heaven's Claws. Uh, I only have one resource floating. It wasn't a blue, but I will draw three cards. Great. So let's... Oh, exactly three. Okay, so that three of a kind has resolved. I'm going to kick this off by activating my Voltaire with the one I have floating. And I'm going to put this Frazzle into my arsenal face up. I will give it go again with Voltaire's ability. Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to attack you with this Frazzle, uh, pitching this Heaven's Claws uh, to come at you for five, and I will fuse it. Uh, so uh, whenever an attack would deal damage this turn, it instead deals that much plus one. Mm-hmm. And I'm attacking you for five, potentially six, with go again. All right. I will defend for three. Uh, so okay. that means I take two plus one. Two plus one, yep. Go to five. Sounds good. I'm gonna activate Voltaire a second time here uh, to put this Bolton shot into my arsenal face up, giving it plus one attack. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fire this at you. Uh, So while its attack is greater than its base attack, it has go again, and if it hits, reload. And it's for five. For five, if it hits, it deals an extra, it deals plus one. Right. Disaster. <laughs> uh, so I will uh, defend for three. Okay. So, so I will take, take two plus one. Three. And go to two. I will uh, choose to reload mm-hmm. and put that in there. Uh, I will cast. No. No. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to attack you with this buzz bolt and I'm going to fuse it with this weave lightning that you knew that I had in my hand. Uh, so because it was fused, whenever an attack deals, uh, whenever an attack hits a hero this turn, it deals one damage to them. Well, uh, that's going to be good enough because I have two items in my hand. Ooh. So I die a horrible, painful death. Very good. That's, yeah. Yeah, I was just able to go wide, and that's that's unfortunate. Uh, yeah. Drawing items. I think my next turn blocks. would have been pretty cool if I didn't die. Mm-hmm. Um... Well, you had, like... <laughs> yeah, huh, right? You had like, some shenanigans going on, for uh, sure. Ooh. This one was awkward. It's the one I drew off of the first Spark of Genius, mm-hmm. and so I just arsenaled it in order to draw more cards. Um, so that would have been a little awkward if I was trying to do a max velocity turn, because that one also costs two. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I had, like, a... I, I had a, a couple set of turns going there, so mm-hmm. I definitely would have had something going if I... Uh, survived yeah but i did not <laughs> yeah unfortunately that first turn was still pretty rough mm-hmm. um, with the go again and being able to end it off with a headshot i think i did or yeah. like a headshot and then lightning surge or something i don't know yeah it was still a lot of damage so yeah there i think there are hands that the ma- that your uh, dash deck has that could keep up with that sort of pressure mm-hmm. um but it's not one where you draw like your two spark of geniuses plus two more items. Like, yeah, that does unfortunately seem just a little bit unlucky for for the matchup specifically. Yeah, not the best yeah. for sure, but uh, you know, them's the breaks. Yeah, still had a good time on the show today. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Blade break, good time. Mm-hmm. Good time with pals. 
always. Yeah. Uh, so thank you very much for joining us. Like we mentioned, this is going to be a kind of a, a gauntlet of sorts. So mm-hmm. tune in next time to see uh, what Lexi will face next. Yeah. Could be anything. Could be anything. Could even be a boat. Could be a boat. Oldham's kind of a boat. Let me think about it. Don't think about it too hard, though. Yeah. See you next time. Hey, thanks for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. Before you close the window, make sure you click subscribe for more great flesh and blood content.